And a very dignified Ron Cook in defeat. That's the Hawthorne way. They enjoy their victories very much, but they take defeat pretty well. But I'm sure they'll be bouncing back and they'll be stung by it. Stephen Kernahan has led Carlton to their 15th Premiership in 1987. And in the Carlton rooms, here he is with Drew Morford. Thanks, Tim. Well, Steve, a lot different feeling this year than last. Yeah, Drew, you know, the, as Kev just said, the pendulum swung and, uh, you know, we, we put a lot of work into it from 12 months ago. We uh, copped the bagging in the press and uh, all year, which is sort of a some small incentive for us to go on. Uh, you know, Carlton can't handle the pressure and I think we applied a bit of pressure today and uh, came out on top. You want to take over? Premiership player to Premiership player? Well, you nearly uh, threw it away a little bit in that first quarter. You had all the play for the first 20 minutes. You must have been amazed at quarter time when John Kennedy kicked that goal after the siren to put him in front. Yeah, I mean, it was really not disheartening, but nearly. Yeah. You know, the play, I thought we played, opened up really well. We were out in the ball, we were aggressive, uh, putting a lot of pressure on it. We, we had all that play, but all of a sudden, you know, the siren goes a quarter time. We're down by a couple of points. I thought, well, geez, what do we have to do against this mob? But, uh, you know, in, especially in conditions like that when it was as hot as it was you just had to persevere and uh, I think your legs late in that last quarter really shone through. The moves of uh, David Rhys-Jones uh, on a Dermot Brereton and David Glascott on a John Platton were match winning moves. When was that all formulated in the team plan? Oh well we, we just thought we'd try something different uh, just to see if we could throw Hawthorne a bit off guard early in the game and uh, you know, when they come off, it's uh, you know, it's always a match-winning move. But I mean, geez, Reese, he's uh, hadn't played centre back before on a, on a bloke who's you know as dangerous as Brett. He's uh, you know, it's a great effort. And uh, you know, we we just attacked today. We took a punt on that, and I think that's the way we played it. You mentioned Stephen how hot it was out there. Did you sense that uh, the Hawthorne side was tiring halfway through that third quarter? Yeah, I, I didn't really. It was really funny with that breeze. One minute you're kicking with the breeze in the third minute quarter, one minute you're kicking against it. And I thought, I just wasn't sure whether uh, what way we'd be going, whether we'd be kicking with in the last quarter. I wasn't sure if three goals would be enough. But, uh, you know, I, I think when I sense our tiring was just that first five minutes of the last quarter when the Glascots, the Gleasons ran the ball out of the middle, I thought, well, you know, I think we've got them here. So, that long, goal of yours, that long goal of yours must have heartened you too. Oh, <laughs> nice to go through. This, <laughs> this is a nice change of fortune for you because you played in a few losing uh, grand final teams in Adelaide. That's right. I, I played in uh, I played in three grand finals back home. A uh, reserves one when I was young, and uh, two league grand finals and a preliminary final we lost in four years before I finally won one. So uh, I was beginning to think whether you know when I come over last year I thought don't tell me it's going to take another four losers to get another one. But as I said, it, you know all's well in the end. And a double for the club as well. Uh, I, we haven't been here for more than five minutes, but I wonder if uh, Carlton's had a better day than this. Well, you know, for the reserves to get up, I, the reserves have done it from, uh, from the elimination final, which I don't think's ever been done before. So certainly makes it a great, great day for the club. And uh, as I said, especially after last year, when it was a real downer and we've had to put up with 12 months of, uh, you know, we're trying to get up and winning a grand final again, it's extra special to win both grades. How long is it going to take you to come down? Because you've got an overseas campaign oh, coming up. Just, I don't know how we make London, Drew. <laughs> uh, if they can find half the blokes, we'll make the field. But, uh, we'll, we've got 40 we'll to have a week and a half. That's right. <laughs> Probably to send the other 90s or something. <laughs> You talked about uh, surprising Hawthorne. I think the move of John Doridge to uh, full forward surprised a lot of other people, including Hawthorne. I think it did. As I said, we took a punt on a few things today. And, uh, you know, Dor it, it, I think both back lines were on top all day. And I suppose it was just one of those days where uh, we wanted Dora up there because he's big and strong yeah. to contest, get the ball to ground. And, uh, you know, our, our little blokes, you know, hopefully pick up the crumbs. And, uh, you know, I think, I think it worked out well. And, uh, as I said, it was a bit different and it throws Hawthorne out a little bit because they had to th make a few changes at the start of the game there. The only move that really we all predicted was uh, Chris Langford playing on his Yeah, oh, well, geez. <laughs> Man, Langers, he's, uh, he played bloody well again today. Langers, he's... Uh, he's got long uh, arms and he's quick. He has. He? he is quick and he's, uh, you know, he's as tall as me and uh, twice as wide and he's a damn good player for him. Uh, at least the tables were turned in the result today, though. Yeah, Joe, you're playing a great game yourself, too. Yeah, well done, Stephen, and thanks for your help, because, I mean, honestly, to go to that luncheon yesterday when you probably didn't need to, <laughs> you've, been, you've been terrific for the media. Um, have a good night tonight. Enjoy. We'll enjoy it, too. Thanks, Kev. Thanks, Joe. Stephen Kernahan, the skipper. 
He's done a fantastic job in his first year as captain of Carlton. You can't do any more fantastic than win the VFL Premiership.